Hello everyone. Welcome back to Python beginner tutorial series. So uh, in this video, we will see uh, uh, various uh, basic syntax uh, or, or the basic conventions that needs to be followed while writing a, a Python program. Okay. So there are two ways uh, uh, a, a Python command can be executed. One is uh, the interactive mode. The other one is the script mode. The interactive mode, as we have seen earlier, we can just go to the Python prompt and then uh, try executing things, something like. So we are, we are inside the prompt. So here we can uh, try executing our uh, commands. So like this. The other one is writing a script. The second method is to uh, write the same command inside the script and then execute it. For that, I'll do uh, again as mentioned earlier. Uh, we have two ways to uh, mention which Python version to be uh, used to execute this program. One thing is something like we give the path of the uh, Python installed here. So this. This will make the uh, shell to decide which Python interpreter to use. So here I'll do the same thing. So this is getting executed. Like I said, this can be executed in a different way also. If the Python version is not mentioned here, while executing, we can use that. So both are the same. But I, I always prefer using it inside the program so that we don't need to mention it every time when we uh, execute it. So I'll just put it here. this looks good so these are all the two ways of programming interactive mode and the uh, script mode in, in this uh, series few areas we will be writing a script and on a uh, few areas we will use interactive mode uh, for uh, better understanding so the, the next thing is Python variables so variables are mentioned as identifiers here so uh, uh, there are different uh, um, uh, notions to be followed while creating a variable name. So variables can be of uh, any characters from uh, A to Z, uppercase or smaller case and only underscore is allowed. Uh, even numerals can be uh, used. Then uh, uh, in Python it doesn't allow punctuation such as uh, add symbol, uh, dollar or percentage. Then uh, as other uh, most of the programming languages Python variables are case sensitive. Uh, for instance where you where one and are two different variables so it is case sensitive and uh, when we when we write a, a class uh, the class name uh, uh, should start with an uppercase uppercase letter the next important thing while writing a python program is the indentation so uh, as you as you might have seen in the other uh, uh, programming languages uh, when when grouping a block of code it should be either given inside braces or uh, 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 curly brace or anything in python the blocks are defined with the space indent spaces for instance if you want to write a if construct here the block which comes within the uh, true code has to be indented and whatever whatever code that is with the same intent will be will be considered as the true, true block for instance print we'll use the same variable as we had other and if you want to come out of the existing block we can go to the previous intent 
if I want to give else block. As you can see here, I have given a tab as intent for this block. This has to be followed for every line of code that has to be executed as part of that block. This can be a space or tab, whichever uh, can be given. But the only thing is, it has to be followed throughout that particular block. And it can be changed between different blocks. For instance, here you can give a tab and here you can give a space. But this has to be followed for the lines of code that is inside that block. So indentation is one main thing that has to be followed throughout the code. It, it, it helps in increasing the readability of code. And also, uh, as you can see, every block beginner is ended with a colon symbol. This stays the same for uh, if condition or a for loop or if you are writing a function. So everything has to be uh, uh, entered with a, uh, ended with a colon symbol. So colon defines there is a block to be executed. The next thing is quotations. Python accepts single quotes or double quotes, both. So let's just try this. So so anything that's given inside a single quotes or double quotes will be considered as strings. And uh, Python also accepts using uh, three uh, double quotes in case of uh, entering a multi-line uh, uh, string. So for instance, let, let, let's try uh, printing this. So this is a puts quotation. If in case we require to give uh, the same quotation mark inside a string that can be uh, escaped by a backslash character, we can also use the other type of quotes when we want to use some quotes inside the string. For instance, if we want to use single quotes as part of the string, the entire string can be quoted inside a double quotes. The next thing is uh, using comments. Uh, any any line of uh, any line inside a, a program that is preceded by a hash symbol is considered as a comment. Yeah, then let's try that inside a program. So comments are for just for uh, uh, the understanding of the user for the script. So this will not be executed as part of the program. As you can see, the line would be ignored. It's always better to comment uh, the code uh, with, with appropriate information so that it will be easy for the user to read it uh, at a later point of time. The next thing to see here is how to get uh, input from user. So to get an user input, first let's give a variable to where to store the input. So input is equal to input here we can give the caption to be printed while receiving the input so now once we press enter it will ask for the name and so this this value entered now will be stored in the in the variable user input so if you want to access that you can Access of this way. So this is how you get an input from the user and store it directly uh, to a variable. So with this, we'll close uh, uh, today's video. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.